what's up guys Rana back with another video and today we're gonna create a free website for one year this is website for those people who don't know a complicated coding and who don't have a technical skills to create those freaky websites but you can create and run your website without having those skills so Today we're gonna spend only five minutes to create this WordPress website and uh, after that you will have your own website. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let's create a free WordPress website. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe or you can turn on notification by clicking this notification bell icon and you won't miss my new uploads. And also you can leave a like if you've been enjoying these videos. So guys, let's get started. Let's create a free WordPress website. First of all, I want you to open up your email account. I prefer Gmail for save some time. And now open google.com and here search for ultimate free host. And open up this website in a new tab. Now perform another Google search for free norm. Now open up this website in the same tab. So guys, as you can see, now we have three websites simultaneously. We have Gmail, we have Freenom, where we're gonna get our free domain. And finally, we have this ultimate free host. And in this website, we're gonna get unlimited free hosting. If you've never been in these two websites before, you have to sign up or sign in. Let's go to this button right here. Click on that, click sign in. Now you can use your social network. I'm gonna use my Google account. All right guys, now click this drop down button alongside services. Now click register a new domain. Now here you can check availability your domain. Now click check availability. These are the free one and these are the paid domain. So in our case, we're gonna get a free domain. Now click get it now. Now click checkout now change the time period to 12 month free period now click on use dns now click on use your own dns now leave this page as it is just for now we will come back and we will make some changes here okay now let's go back to this ultimate free host now let's click sign up button right here here you have to type your domain now leave this as it is now type your password now enter your email now leave this as it is you can change your website category now enter the security code right here now click on register so now you will get a verification email let's go back to your email account as you can see we don't have an email let's check out our spam folder as you can see we have a verification email from ultimate free host let's open this up now click on this link to activate your account now you have to wait for a couple of seconds to activate your account all right guys as you can see when you see display like that which means your account is activated and you have to close this tab and you can close this tab as well now let's go back to your email that's back here as you can see you will get another email from hosting site from this email, you can access your control panel. This is your control panel username and this is your control panel password, okay? Let's open up this link, a new tab. So here you have to enter your username and password. Username is right here. You can copy and paste or you can drag and drop like that if you never tried this before. Now enter your password. Again, I'm gonna tell you that this username and password you will get by email. Keep in mind that, okay? Okay, now click on login. Now scroll down and found the domain section. Under the domain section, you need to click on add on domains. Now guys, here you have to enter your domain. First, you need to copy these name server. Copy. And now it's time to go back to our free norm site. And here you have to paste your name server like that. Now let's change this second name server one to two okay just like that now click continue now click on your gmail account 
you can enter your billing address if you like now click on complete order now click here to go to your client area now click this drop down button alongside services now click my domains now click on manage domain at the same line of your domain let's quickly verify our name server now click this drop down button now click on name server as you can see our name server are set let's go back to information let's copy your domain and paste right here just like that make sure you have no space at all like that if you have space in your domain you might get error make sure you have no space in the beginning or in the end okay now click on add domain as you can see this message says congratulations you have now added a new domain to your control panel now let's go to home click here to go to home now scroll down and find software under the software now click software class apps installer so these are the application that you can install so in our case we need to install wordpress now click on install so here you have to make some changes here let's delete this wp from directory you can give a name to your site you can add a description you can change a username or you can change your password you can change your email scroll down here you can select your wordpress theme once you've done that you can click on install there you go guys now you can access your wordpress dashboard by going to this link or you will get the same email at your email account Let's go to inbox as you can see we don't have any email right now let's check out spam again nope no email let's reload this web page in the inbox as you can see we have another email from soft apps so this is your wordpress dashboard username and this is your password that you just created okay so by going to this link you can access your wordpress dashboard so as you can see guys now enter your username which is admin and enter your password now click login there you go guys as you can see now you can access your wordpress dashboard here you can customize your site so that's it guys that's the end of this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found this video useful you can leave a like or if you have any question or issue regarding this video you can ask me in the comment section i will answer those questions as quickly as possible so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys next time